What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the famous internet famous show. My name is Devalor, and holy hell, we have a whole lot of topics tonight. But first, let me introduce my co-host, a man with um, opinions about baseball teams. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike B, a.k.a. a.k.a. Mike B. He also likes to make ridiculous noises. <laughs> That's a lot harder than I thought. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. It's spring training, so I decided to dust it off and be super obnoxious today. Good. 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 Uh, and joining us tonight is as our special guest, uh, someone I'm really excited to have on the show. Uh, he is here to be. Uh, well, let's just say tonight we're going to make some history. Ladies and gentlemen, it's General Mittens. Hi. Thank you, Devil Lord. It's really good to be here. <laughs> Ready to get some like... history made. <laughs> Very excited. Uh, there's a lot going on in the history of uh, the internet. Every day, we're shattering records. Y- yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, I'm really excited to be here. It's, uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. we got a lot of stuff to go over, and there's a lot of random crazy stuff happening. And, of course, yeah. history is being made. This is this is the most important thing. You know what I mean? And it's only yeah. here on the Famous Amos podcast. That, uh, <laughs> the Famous Amos? <laughs> it's famously Amos. Uh, first off. Uh, uh, you're going to hear about it first. Famous yeah, Amos is Amos. Yes. <laughs> nah, but here the place is a whole... Anyway, now, um, I, before you continue uh, saying things like famous Amos's anus, I want to remind everybody that we do take names for the episode from the <laughs> chat room <laughs> at the end of the show. <laughs> so, Mike, there you go. Something, right. something it's, is going to end up on your it, YouTube channel yeah, <laughs> as a result of this. That's, that's one of those like immediate, not suitable for all, all audiences. <laughs> <laughs> Just yellow as it's uh, uploading. That would be biggest flag before it's even uploaded. Yeah, yeah. It's like we can't, we can't support. Mm-hmm. You, no, no, stop. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Mittens, awesome. Uh, really, super glad to have you on the show, dude. Uh, you want to uh, take a second and tell us about yourself? I mean, I I know everything there is to know about you. I, yes, I know you, you know you everything. <laughs> you know, that's everything. Super, super creepy. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm, like I know, I know everything. I know yeah. I know about the dogs. Like yeah. that's all you have to say. And I'm like, okay, man. Okay. How much money? What's the account number? Let's go. Mm. Um, no, I'm, I'm a full time uh, streamer here on Twitch. This is uh, what I do for a living, and I have to keep like pinching myself every once in a while, reminding myself that I do this for a living, and this is I, I'm. <laughs> We're just here to talk about random stuff. Like looking over the topics today, it was just like, this is, oh, I get to get away with doing this. <laughs> like the job I had before Twitch, literally stocking shelves. You know what I mean? You go from stocking shelves, working like minimum wage, the worst jobs. And then you just have a passion for something. You get on something like Twitch and then just see it just go off and blow up. And, you know, we're yeah. taking, you know, steps as far as that goes. And uh, I don't know, man, it's, uh, it's really cool to do what i do and i'm just a variety yeah. broadcast just i'm just a dude that sounds so weird but like at the end of the day i'm i'm just a guy that likes talking so i'm like hey guys what's up and i'm <laughs> and, and i'm one of twenty seven thousand people that gets to do you know hey guys what's up or whatever yeah. and then like have that be what they do and i don't know man it blows me away it's really cool to be here yeah so yeah no, that's, really. that's all, that told you yeah, nothing like, about me, by the I way. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, I apparently used to stock shelves, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All that type I of like, stuff. I like the success story. It's like he basically is like, oh, now I'm successful doing this. For me, it's obviously <laughs> it's like, I decided to make less money. Like, <laughs> like, I, was I make said, l- fuck the money. I money. said, I'm going down. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> this, trage- this plateau bullshit. No, we're, we're taking it into the sea, go. man. I'll be happier, though. So that's what's important. That's it. Yeah. No, that's good. That's good. No, it's no, like I grew up on a, I grew up homeschooled on a farm farm in the middle of nowhere like you could fire a gun in any direction wouldn't hit anybody like i tried believe me no, uh, <laughs> no, I, no I grew up on a ranch like that's how like i didn't even go to public school so the mm-hmm. idea of like I, did, I wasn't allowed to like watch tv or play video games till i was like 15 and then i was like hey dad i have my own money that i've earned through labor Can I please <laughs> like actual hard labor too I know, like actual labor like working on a ranch and it's like, oh, bells. Exactly, like you, you're not lying um yeah, yeah all that type of stuff and then go from there uh i went to a work study university to where I worked my way through college. So I'm still working all the way up through school, homeschooled all the way through, uh, you know, high school or whatever. So I, I have talked to like four people in my life. 
Um, it's <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a social life. And then to go from that to uh, you know, I was like uh, one, one, college, one, and then, uh, gosh, two. <laughs> one, two, and then there's my wife. Um, so this, is huge, this is huge for me, guys. Yeah. Uh, no, and then uh, going from that to uh, just uh, being here, man. Uh, after years of like eight, eight eight years in the service industry, doing uh, food service and just working like the dead end, like low end jobs. And then one day it's like, you know what? I, I could do that. I stumbled on Twitch mm. and uh, through, you know, random, you know, it was Dark Souls, Dark Souls, you know, I'm breaking controllers, putting my fist through the wall, screaming uh-huh. to the heavens. Why? And then you go to YouTube and then you see some guy beat the thing in like 45 minutes. <laughs> and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> or there's like, I had the guy yeah. who beat all three of them without getting hit. Right. Dude, like, yeah. That, that just happened like last week, crazy. right? Yeah. Happy hop, week. right? Yeah. Yeah. Happy hop. Man, that was I didn't, crazy. Even, I didn't even yeah. know that was a thing. And then like I saw I saw it come out. I was just like, are you kidding me? Are you are you fucking kidding me? Like I, I literally tuned in immediately after he'd done it because I saw somebody tweet out that he was one boss away from completing the entire run. Which and so I was like, oh man, that's why so, so I click on the link real quick and I get in right after he's done it and he's AFK and the chance is <laughs> just freaking out. And I'm like, well, I'm I'm just too late for this. But yeah. apparently something history was made here today. Yeah. Like Yeah, it was good stuff. It's good stuff. So um speaking of making history, let's uh oh let's get God. into t- <laughs> today. It so happened. I Guys, keep- it happened. I, I keep I keep bringing this up because of something that I'm sure Mittens is going to talk about here in a second. You were talking about earlier on your stream; it was cracking me up. Um, yeah. So one of the one of the bigger pieces of news, I guess, for this week, especially in the you know Twitch online content creator sort of hemisphere, which is the wrong word to use there, but I'm going to go with it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> in Screw the quadrant the world, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the quadrant um, <laughs> at these particular internet coordinates. Uh, mm. So last night, for whatever reason, Ninja was playing Fortnite, you know, like he does. He tends to... Well, that was the wrong button. He tends to, no, I, I didn't mind. I was, <laughs> was, like, was, was ready right for it. Too. <laughs> he was like... <laughs> so Ninja, who is not this man, was playing Fortnite <laughs> last night with Drake, who is not this man. And... <laughs> I know it's hard to tell. Two, yeah. two people that we could not get on the show <laughs> did something. I mean, not here. I went, I went down, I went down the list, man. I was like, okay, let's get Ninja on here, and he was like, no, I make more money in two minutes than you make in your entire year. And I'm like, all right, forty-five sure, seconds. Forty-five seconds. Yeah. yeah. And then let's Drake was like, forty-five seconds. <laughs> yeah. And then Drake, I mean, he didn't even return any of my calls. I probably didn't even call the right phone number. They kept saying they were Walmart. And so then I went with you. Yeah. So thanks for. Amen. Thanks hey, for being third, my tier. third best option. That's where I am, dude. That's where I am. Like, well, if we're not going to hear from the stores, we'll hear about somebody that has opinions. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll but do yeah, that. The, we'll um, do that. the big thing about this uh, this whole Drake playing Fortnite with Ninja thing, um, there's actually a few things, a few sort of uh, interesting aspects to this thing actually happening. Um, the first and foremost one that everybody keeps talking about is the fact that it like broke single... Um, Single stream reviewership records on Twitch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They got up above six hundred thousand viewers. Um, for someone who produces his broadcast with literally less equipment than I have around me right now, I don't even think he mm-hmm. uses a two PC streaming setup. Uh, he does. does he? I don't think he does. No. He doesn't. No, yeah, I don't think he does either. But like, for <laughs> for someone to be like, I've got a pretty decent computer. I've got a headset microphone. <laughs> I've got a vague approximation of a webcam, six hundred thousand <laughs> viewers. Like that's that's actually insane. I feel like you're really selling Ninja Short on this one. No, no, no. You're no, like, no. like this guy was in his garage naked. <laughs> like <laughs> you know, he had nothing. He had a cardboard box and some old aluminum foil. Like, like I mean, no, like, I'm sort of, I'm just kind of mentally. Around, like, yeah, yeah, I mean, so the the reason I'm talking about this is because when we talk about single streamer viewership records yeah. we're talking about it's not like an esports production an esports production which people put millions of millions of dollars into and they're like we got sixty thousand viewers wow that's amazing such high yeah. viewership and then ninja's just what? like me play actually, video games I, I, I that. what's the record for non-single like a non-single like for a championship or something like that what's the record what type of numbers are we looking at there I don't know if anyone sure. broke a million because <laughs> uh, Ninja made the comment. He said that we're going to go for the the site record a million, and I don't know if like if if if, if that was true or not. I actually didn't verify that, but uh, yeah, uh, they they didn't hit a million, which I think a lot of people were disappointed about because it was like it was Drake. What? I get I get a million, 
Um, well, CSGO but... apparently broke 1.1 million at one point. There you go. So, okay. So that is the record. All right. Yeah. All right. And that's that's so single that's, platform as well. Like I know that's crazy. He yeah. he reached fifty percent of that. Like that's yeah, yeah. on at, his own and at he, no budget he has comparatively. More than just his garage, like you know, I mean at that I mean what was he running before that? He was running. I mean like right now I just checked a little bit before going on here. He has ninety three thousand. Uh, like a week ago he had ninety five thousand concurrence. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like he he runs really high numbers anyway. You know what I mean? And he's yeah. definitely on the upswing as Fortnite comes up. So he's. He's first off, he's ridiculously talented and a skill based. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I get into like Fortnite versus PUBG or versus any other skill based shooter. I don't believe it's a skill based shooter, and that's why I don't play it. Um, it's damn. It's not, no, like I, I personally don't play Fortnite, and everybody can be like, yeah, but it's fired. Fired. Oh, at a much <laughs> easier rate than other games. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's one of those things where it's it's uh, it looks like a fun game for people to play, but I I. I don't want to not like the game, and I don't personally have anything against the game, but the more I talk about the reasons why I don't play the game, it's going to come across like I really don't like the game. And that's not the game. <laughs> I, I have no like real feelings about the game whatsoever. It's like, no, go ahead and watch it or play it. I personally can't watch it because it gives me a headache to watch it. And that's just that's just me, just everything. When I say it gives me a headache, not like if I was playing it, just running around like we're a little cartoon man, and you know that's not going to give me a headache. Watching people like Ninja play it gives me a headache because he's moving so fast and building everything so quickly. Yeah, you have no yeah. idea what's going on. It's like, all right, well, apparently, oh, I think I think that was a kill that he just got. Like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 I, th- I think I heard a shot. <laughs> Suddenly, there's yeah. a gigantic yeah. structure right there between him and the shot. Wipes and then an all, entire and team. And then all of a sudden, it's just you know, number one victory royale, and you're like, oh, oh thank God he won. That's over. You know what I mean? Like, oh, <laughs> just, whew, that was tension. I, I I felt the tension. You know, I didn't know what was happening, but it was there. Yeah. I don't know. It's yeah. uh yeah. Yeah, it's uh yeah. it's the game is really on the upswing and it makes sense that uh, he'd be the one to hit that record and but he had to put in a lot of hard work and years of being really good at what he does and being really good at basically busking for a living is what we all what Twitch streamers who are full-time do and he's really good at that. He's really good at networking. He's really good uh, like across the board. This isn't just like Oh, some friend of Drake's broke the record. Like Drake <laughs> being there is what like pushed the record. But dude, I was watching when it was like halfway through one of the matches. I only watched for probably like 30 minutes yesterday. But it was oh, long enough to see. You watched, you watched <laughs> yeah. It was one of those things where literally I I it was cool to see and it was cool to experience, but I wasn't about to sit there and watch six hours of Fortnite. Like that's I have better things to do. Like, yeah. I don't know. Um, but you know, six hundred thousand people did not have better things to do, so they were there. Yeah. Um no, like halfway through, uh, Drake Drake dies, and Ninja's like, oh, well, man, we can back out and start over to get you in. And he's just like, no, man, I'll watch. What he said was, I'll watch God work, mm-hmm. is what Drake <laughs> said. And Drake yeah. says that, and you're like, oh, damn, here's the pressure. Ninja goes on and clutches the whole game and yeah. just wins yeah. it, like no, no sweat. Yeah. And that's where it's like, all right, that's why he's at 630,000. That's, that's why he's the guy to break the record. Isn't because... Yeah. Oh, the luck of the draw, or oh, just I've oh, got enough followers on Twitter. No, dude, there is skill there that like you have to appreciate. Yeah. At the same time, he's taking it with a lot of grace and a lot of grace under pressure, dude. Like, like that one, he's not he's not hot selling anything. He understands the position he's in, and then he does one shout out for Twitch Prime, and in mm. forty five <laughs> seconds gets nine hundred sixty two subs. That's, yeah, that's that's it was insane. a wall of prime. So, yeah, all it was. Hey, there's a lot of new faces in chat. Uh, if you guys want to click that uh, prime button at the top, why don't you guys go ahead and just do that? You but know? even the way he said it, it was, it was like everybody gets a free, everybody gets a free prime subscription, mm-hmm. and it's just right there, and you'll know whether or not yours is active just by clicking that button. Mm-hmm. And it was just so subtle, and just the way he did it. And but he wasn't he. There's no way he could interact with chat. Yeah, yeah. This chat no. is just, yeah, yeah. Of course not. There's no way you can interact with it. But he just gives one little pitch. And that's all it was. It wasn't heavy handed. It wasn't, all right, we're going to ride this mother till the wheels fall off. Like it's somebody that you can actually smash that so, like button. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> smash that follow button or whatever. It was just kind of like, hey, guys, if you like what you see, we see a lot of people around here. So go ahead and boom. Obviously, he shattered a record for that. I don't know if yeah. he, he must have broke things on the back end for Twitch, man. Well, he, yeah, has, uh, crazy, he has 180,000 subs now. Yeah, so, dude. Yeah. Which is a, a, a bit. <laughs> it's, it's a few yeah that's yeah. a few i mean even if yeah. you even if you were to assume that it's like the lowest tier that twitch pays out which we know yeah. that people with higher no. sub counts like, you get, know, you get know he has the, you know yeah, he has yeah. the highest tier so you yeah. know he's on tier three he's making at least he's making at least 350 knock off a third of that say he's making two dollars a sub just after taxes generous yeah. 
that's so still you like map on that he's making two million dollars a year just on subs like that's a lot of pressure for a dude who's 25 who yeah. built the company that he is now running who built who he is and his brand he built that over the last years i met him back in 2015 when he cleaned up the h1z1 uh, tournament at uh the first twitchcon uh, mm-hmm. back to back there were two games he w- took first place and second place in the two games and he wasn't even invited. It was an invitational <laughs> that he showed up for day one and qualified for, and mm-hmm. then went on to clean yeah. it. Like that's just like mass respect, dude. Like you got you got to hand it to him. Like if there's anybody yeah. that it's 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 weird though with like the big rising Twitch stars, you want to be like, dude, it's just really cool to see a good guy. But then like the whole Doctor Disrespect things happens, or all the drama from this guy, and you want to like you want to say couldn't happen to a nicer guy. But you never know the next tweet that's going to come out that's like, Ninja's a piece of shit. You know, you never know. So it's, <laughs> yeah, it's so hard true. for me to be like, it couldn't, you know, oh, yeah. Ninja deserves this. I don't know him personally. He was nice when I met him three years ago. You know what I mean? I want to believe that he's an amazing guy. And for all, you know, everything that I can see, he's, he deserves what he's got. And he's worked really hard for it. And I hope he's not a piece of shit. <laughs> like, it sounds really weird, but like, that's what it comes down to. I, I hope well, that's, he isn't like... That's sort of the modern... Yeah. That's, that's, the, the, kind of the modern state of being a content creator on the internet right now, though, is... Yeah. Well, hope he's not a piece of shit. I do kind of like yeah. him. And yeah, I'll uh, this sub, but... Ah, uh, God. Yeah. <laughs> when's when's the uh the the suicide video gonna come out the the exactly. suicide it's tree like, video it's like i want to believe in harvey dent is what it is like, I wanna <laughs> believe in harvey dent, but any minute yeah. now you know scary face yeah. like like the ninja you don't, you don't know, dude. he does seem like, like i mean you look at like his chat rules and everything and like the stuff mm-hmm. that he's been doing for charity and so on he does seem like a a decent guy um and obviously like he's been working at it for a long time i think uh, he started streaming in like 2009 He's one of those people that has just been grinding on the streaming thing for ages. And so it's really cool to see, like, that's... No, wait, no, 2011, I think, is when when he started streaming. But still, like, seven years ago, he started streaming. Yeah. And he's just been grinding on the, like, day in, day out. I'm going to get on. I'm going to stream. He started with, like, Halo, and then he moved on to H1Z1, and then he moved on to PUBG, and then Fortnite. That's the thing. He did start with Halo because he played it on a console. So when he won that tournament back in 2015 at TwitchCon, he was a console player playing on a keyboard and mouse and beat everybody else. Like, uh, this is, like, legendary shit, dude. Like, this is... <laughs> all right. Like, like yeah. you, you got to respect it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, but like you said, that's kind of the age that we live in where it's like, well, yeah, I hope this guy isn't. But it's kind of like everybody has skeletons in their closet. You know what I mean? <laughs> but <laughs> we went in a really weird circle with this fucking story. <laughs> like, holy shit. All right. <laughs> Either way, history was made. Oh, that's man. Woo. Uh, dude, it was, it, was, it was exciting. Like, it was super exciting. And it was really interesting to see the, kind of the evolution of, like, social response with this whole thing. Like, it started off, it was like, man, this is like, this is really fucking cool. I can't believe this is happening, you know? And uh, and then Kotaku picked up the article after uh, after Drake had tweeted it out. I think it was like, we were waiting for the tweet to make sure that it was legit, right? It's like, well, I mean, it sounds like Drake, but, you know, almost anybody could sound like Drake. So it was like one of those things where we were, <laughs> we were waiting for it. And then the tweet came out. It was like, it's fucking legit. Like, we don't have any reason necessarily to doubt him. But like you said, it's like, someone might be... Uh, you know, we, we had to put our trust in somebody that might try to be an asshole later on. Uh, and in Kotaka's article, it was pretty funny. Actually, they didn't even mention Ninja. Uh, in the hell, they're like over 600,000 people had tuned in to watch Drake play Fortnite, and then later yeah. they squeezed in Ninja. <laughs> oh, I guess this other guy, Ninja, whatever. We don't play games, we don't understand how this whole system works. Uh, <laughs> and so it just it, it just basically ballooned to this crazy thing, and you get to see the social evolution of people going from this is really cool to uh, to oh no, now it's gonna bring all these fucking normies onto the platform, we don't want to have all these you know or, or now it's going to create like some kind of system where now celebrities are going to have to stream uh on twitch as part of their like promotional tour for whatever like it really like went off into like crazy places that part however doesn't sound like it too far-fetched you know it's like oh hey you're, you you play games why don't you go ahead and add to your contract that you're going to play and promote your album through playing you know uh, through twitch or whatever we've already had that happen a couple times before not necessarily album but just you know uh, uh people who are uh, uh stars in the music industry you know playing on twitch you know whether it be you know dead mouse uh, he, he streamed all the time uh but mers uh snoop was not playing a game for a while there uh and it was <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just been it's, it's not unusual to have people from the music industry you know uh show up on twitch and start doing stuff but this was a different case where it was like th- you know drake even said he's like he's been watching ninja for a while 
got into got into uh, Fortnite, uh, and then uh, f- you know followed him on Instagram. F- Drake followed Ninja on Instagram, and that's how actually they started. They hooked up and they started talking, and that's how this whole thing happened. It was it was a hundred percent organic, and I think that's what mm. made it so special was that it mm. was real. It wasn't like some PR company trying to set this whole thing up. There wasn't money exchanging hands. Uh, yeah. It was just it was just hey, Drake really likes this guy. Because he plays video games and he watches Twitch just like everyone else fucking does. <laughs> and yeah. so and <laughs> yep. it happened and it was beautiful. Yeah. It really, really was. Yeah. Um, so before we move on to our next topic, which we need to do because we've already managed to spend like half the show just talking about Drake playing <laughs> Fortnite with Ninja. How can you not? Um, <laughs> it's Drake. <laughs> history was made. Yeah. Like. It's making history. Yeah. Um, oh. So, Mike, I have, I have good news and I have bad news. Oh, the good news is I remembered to start the recording. Oh my, f- yeah. The bad news is that oh, occurred two minutes ago. <laughs> Which recording? Yes. <laughs> <gasps> really? So I'm gonna have to download the Twitch file. <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they I, spam it in chat. They do. Yeah, I literally <laughs> I made an emote so that it. people could spam in chat, and I wouldn't forget, and I still managed to forget. I even have. Like here, That's let me. How it happens. Uh, That's how it happens. Yeah, I have. I can even show you guys. Like, look at this. Look at this checklist I have at the top of the show <laughs> notes. Even, what says, else? What record else do things. We need? <laughs> record what things. Else? What else? And I, I, I what still forgot. Else do we need? Yeah. <laughs> I need to like bold those and make it red or something so that I can then forget to click on it again. Exactly. But it's Jeez. fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't affect my channel. It's, just... <laughs> <laughs> it's also not my problem whatsoever. Yeah. Um, so moving on, <laughs> apparently the cool thing to do in the past couple of weeks is to take your game and make it <laughs> on mobile. Uh, and make so the screen smaller. Make the screen smaller <laughs> and make it so you have to put your fingers over parts of it in order to <laughs> do anything. Um, so last uh, week we were talking about with... Um, uh, with Shizzle while he was on here, we were talking about uh, Fortnite and how they've uh, they announced the they were gonna have a mobile version of it that came out uh, with a closed beta on iOS this week, um, just yesterday I think actually, and so pretty much immediately, uh, PUBG turned around. They were like, "Uh, <laughs> us, we can do guys. that. We yeah. have money." <laughs> they did. I mean, obviously, like, so what they did they they did a um a soft launch in Canada with an Android release. So. Mm-hmm. It's if you're in Canada, I believe you can just go and check it out and download it. Obviously, this isn't something that they could have been like, "Oh shit, Fortnite did a thing. Let's just whip up an Android version of our game real quick." <laughs> yeah, like like yeah, this has been in development for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um, I, I didn't know that this was coming. Did they ever announce that they were even working on this, or was it just like? I, honestly, what well, I think the problem is in Canada, news moves a little bit slower, and I and I only say this because the because actual it's so site cold, that you guys like... are quoting is uh, it's actually uh, we got this news from a site called Mobile Syrup uh, dot com, and oh. it's a Canadian. This is serious. <laughs> it's a wow. Canadian site. This is how like dedicated they are to the whole like we are Canadian. They literally <laughs> called it Mobile Syrup dot com. So I'm guessing the news just travels slower, like syrup. That yeah. joke took a long time to set up. The payoff was not worth it. So that's literally <laughs> all I have for the. I literally have PUBG mobile game mobile syrup. <laughs> that's, that's all I really have to say about this. <laughs> See, I thought, I thought you were you were sweet. I thought you were gonna like transition into and actually like this was announced in Canada like two weeks ago. But no, it was literally just no. a syrup thing. <laughs> no, it was just a syrup yeah. joke. That's all I got. I got syrup jokes. Good. This is like, that's Welcome. that's that's why we brought you on for syrup jokes. Okay. Exactly. So yeah, PUBG here for, the, for the big news. Toys R Us is closing. Let's get mittens. Fucking <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Toys R Us closes its doors. Get mittens on the case. Yeah. <laughs> like, All right, I can do two minutes on Toys R Us. Let's go. Damn it, mittens! You're a renegade. Turn in your badge and gun. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, mittens! We want news, not this Toys R Us bullshit. Yeah. Come on. Uh, so yeah, PUBG going mobile. Uh, soft launch in Canada on Android. I mean, slow launch. <laughs> sticky launch yeah. sticky yeah slow yeah. sticky launch yeah. very sweet a very sweet launch it's hopefully it sticks around <laughs> i'm really here to make myself laugh guys <laughs> i want you guys to know i'm having a really good time like honestly yeah. i'm having a really good time thanks for having me on yeah <laughs> yeah no problem 
Continue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know that there's much else to say about PUBG going to mobile particularly. I mean, we talked about it with Fortnite last week. It's There have been other BRs on, on mobile already. Mm-hmm. Some of them are kind of okay. Like PUBG, I don't see why not to give it a try at the very least. It does seem, whereas Fortnite is very sort of like super casual-ish and like very like colorful and fun and upbeat and so on arcadey in terms of gameplay yeah PUBG is a lot more like serious like it's like a military it's a military sim as opposed yeah. to a video yeah. game right? <clears throat> yeah and I, I can see many people that are really hardcore into that style of gameplay being like all right like i I don't see that really happening but then again i'm not really tapped into we we talked about this very briefly earlier like mobile gameplay culture you know i mean i think i don't know how many really big games are coming to mobile as opposed to how many what i would define as a mobile game like candy crush Mm. is a mobile game and like you know like 80 percent of all people that play games it's mobile games that they're playing is this just another mobile game or is this just a really like I, I don't know why anybody would really want to play it on mobile and this is just maybe it's just like the yeah. culture that i'm living in maybe it's the part of the world i'm living in i'm not sure if this is gonna be huge like in asia or something like i don't know like, so uh we touched on this in a in a digihu a long long time ago we talked about what it's like um us growing up and what our first you know console was what our interface was growing up right for me, it was you know a keyboard and the NES controller, right? Uh, and for my son, it is a phone. Like for him, his first interface is literally the phone, and he's gotten very good at it. For I mean, at a very very young age, uh, like playing playing games, and so that for him is second nature. But for me, like I play games on the phone, I'm just like I can't feel anything. Is I'm covering half the screen with my dick fingers and it's just like it just doesn't really work out you know and so but for him he's just like going to town and so yeah it, it, it's just one of those things it's like yeah when i pick up a controller it could be almost any controller i'd feel at home right because it's mm-hmm. just a controller i know there's a button i push there's a button here the buttons can only be so far from my hands right so i, I can manage you know it, but picking up a phone feels foreign because i didn't grow up with that mm-hmm. and so yeah. i feel like yeah there's there's definitely a ton of people uh, a ton of kids who play games exclusively on phones uh and that is you know probably for the most part the only way they play games and so they are good at it so they can play games like uh you know like PUBG and like fortnite which by the way i feel like PUBG are like easier than fortnite with the whole building aspect and all that i, I, I like, was gonna i was gonna actually say that i was gonna agree with that where it's like i, I can only see fortnite being more difficult to play on mobile mm-hmm. just because there's so much more stuff going on frankly. right yeah. yeah yeah like that ninja precision of just like building, building. <laughs> it's, it's crazy to, it's crazy to watch yeah. walmart here we go <laughs> walmart. <laughs> Flip around midair, you've now constructed yourself a spaceship somehow. Um, He's already moving across the map. (laughs) Stairway to heaven. Uh, The other game that is going to mobile, which I don't... I'm I'm baffled by this one, is Ark. Like, you... Why, though? You, you... You brought this up in my chat, and what was what was my reaction? I literally said, "Isn't that still in early access?" Wasn't that, <laughs> and that's not me like digging on Ark. That's me literally. That's I, I don't play Ark actively, but it looks like it's still in early access, and yeah, I it haven't runs been like it's still in early own, access. I, that's how I feel. It's like, and I, whenever I see it played, it's like, oh yeah, that's still in. Early, and I literally had to ask you, like, wait, is that still in early access? It is, right? And everybody's like, no, it was released like a year ago, and I'm like, oh, so it's like PUBG. It's one of those that releases. But it still acts like it's early access. Okay. But once again, we just covered this. PUBG is moving to mobile. <laughs> so it seems like everybody's yeah. moving. Like, like, everybody's moving. Yeah. Can, we, I mean, can yeah. we port it? Okay, go. Pull the trigger. Like, you know. So, so, so Arc site's dead. I was kind of I was curious if they had a price <laughs> to anywhere. Right. There must be an early access. <laughs> That's really uh, funny. Uh, the thing is, if you well, there are sites down. I'm, I'm not surprised about Arc like being on uh, being on mobile because if for me it's kind of like this is just kind of another generation or another style of like Minecraft, right? Um, and Minecraft plays great on phone. Like yeah. even for me, like it plays fucking great. So I could totally see people getting in and playing uh, playing Arc on uh, on their phones easy. There's not a whole lot of precision necessary uh, for most of this like casual stuff that you're going to be doing. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. I feel like that's yeah. that's. A no-brainer yeah i guess i mean you have to be a little bit precise with the building sometimes because like even though it snaps to grid like arc is just so fin. i think for me it's more just that arc as a game i've played a lot of arc right mm-hmm. like i've played a lot of it 
entirely on role playing servers, so that's going to affect things a little bit. <laughs> I was but, gonna say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it are you is like our RP on your phone, <laughs> like yeah. So that's how you get RP. I'm like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be. It's me. <laughs> I'm gonna be, be on a bus somewhere and all of a sudden just be like, hey, uh, what's going on? You want to buy some of my shit? <laughs> one of those, like the RP trolls who just go around trolling. They're actually just some guy on a bus with his phone. Just uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Channel number one, playing fucking. <laughs> Channel number one. Yeah. God damn it, you're on a bus, aren't you? Yes. Uh, right now, currently. Uh, currently. But no, like the the thing that I guess it. The game just, it runs like ass. It is not optimized even a little bit. And it is, has never been optimized even a little bit. And it, I don't know, like taking, taking a game that does not run well on my i7 with a 1070 and putting it on my phone. Mm, I'm a bit iffy on that. I'm a bit iffy on that. Maybe you make some good points, but you got to think there's money to be made, frankly, right? Sure. Like, I'm sorry, but that's really what it comes down to. Is it's like it runs like ass, but we can make money, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Let's port it quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'll, I'll be that. I'll be that realistic downer guy. I'll be like, yeah, but they all just want the money. Like, yeah, like basically, right? There'll like, be a, yeah. there'll be a video here, but it's not already out. It's gonna be like some kind of side by side arc arc PC versus arc mobile, and we'll be able oh, to yeah. see what the, where they took where they cut corners because yeah, there's no way that it's gonna run on uh, uh, on on uh, mobile just as is. You know? Yeah, but I mean, yeah. but but in their defense, like when I first played Arc and I crank, I was like, oh yeah, I got a great system. I'm just gonna crank everything up, right? Like besides the fact that it was like fucking playing Mist, like, it was a fucking slideshow, like, <laughs> like a point and click adventure. Uh, That's a throwback. It, oh, it looked beautiful. Like it, like there is, I feel like like they they reached way way beyond the stars to try to make this game look just absolutely amazing, but they didn't like optimize it in the areas where people would actually be playing <laughs> it's like it's kind of like crisis where like nothing could run crisis because every blade of grass had its own ai and so they couldn't <laughs> optimize crisis correctly and it's it jeff it took, yeah, it, it, it took time to actually uh to, to act for, for pcs to catch up to be able to play crisis you know and that's that's what yeah. it feels like it's like they're they're yeah there's opportunity yeah. there for them to, to optimize it but the potential is great you know for the future for them yeah yeah, I mean, maybe they can make it work. Are we just at a point like where that's just okay? Where it's like, I see a lot of potential in this game. And then nothing really ever happens. You know what I mean? Like when 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 PUBG first came out, I didn't just see like a lot of potential for the game as a battle royale. I see it actually being able to take full circle and coming around and having role-playing servers. Like that's that's what, that was the first thing I thought of was, wow, this for is going to come full circle. Yeah, and then, I mean, you're, you, all you have to do is take away the circle. All you do is take away the two mm. elements that make it a battle royale, mm -hmm. and you have an awesome, really good, like, it has a really solid foundation, but it's not really going anywhere. And it seems like there's a lot of games that are in early access. Well, technically, they're not in early access anymore, but there's a lot of games that are in early access that uh, have really, really good foundation, but then don't seem to go anywhere. Like, it seems, it seems like that's a problem, where you see a lot of potential for it, but then it never really... It early, it's taking five six years to go there. When I, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. I kind I'm at a point now where I'm really just done playing early access games because I'm really I spent most of last year playing PUBG, being really honest, and streaming PUBG, and it finally just kind of got to me where it was like, man, all the games I'm really interested in are me checking up on the latest patch for the for the you know early access game, whether it's Hunt Showdown, awesome game, really cool. I I love the direction and they have a really solid foundation. <laughs> I'm saying that but it's they have a really yeah. good foundation the game could be amazing but it's not because it's early access and, yeah and I, I don't know it's a it's a weird place to be right now where you're just really grateful I'm, I'm coming around to where i'm grateful for like ubisoft and i never thought like three years ago i never would have said that but it's like i know that when ubisoft launches a game first month you're probably gonna have some hiccups with the party system stuff like that drm but then they're is going gonna to, decide you haven't like, actually purchased it <laughs> exactly there's gonna be random shit's gonna happen i'm never gonna be able to play sea of thieves uh like you know, that's, not Ubi that's not ubisoft that's xbox app being stupid um anyway uh i, I don't know man it's just it's kind of weird where it's come full circle where i'm like i just want to play a game that's finished i don't care if it's an indie game i don't care what it is but i'm tired of playing like half-baked games that are oh no we have a whole crew of people that are working really hard to make this game a reality 
but we have no real, it's going to be years out and just keep playing, just keep playing. And yeah. I'm kind of, I don't know, it's, man, I'm, it's getting old, but at the same time, there's a market for it and people, some yeah. people care. So I, I, you have to always take, you take early access, you know, in, in consideration when you're, when you're looking at a game for me, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna give up on early access. I'm just going to keep on considering them as being launched and they're going to add more content later. Sure. You know, like we're playing a game. I was playing a game uh, this week called uh, deep rock galactic. Uh, and that game has a really great foundation, right? It, it's basically a four player squad, like mining kind of game. Right. Um, but there's, there's a lack of variety of monsters. And mm -hmm. uh, even, even though there's a bunch of different mission types, they all kind of feel the same. Cause you're still in the kind of the same kind of you know, cavernous, whatever. It's very, it was um, very same Z. It's very, it's very yeah. astroneer. It's like astroneer first person. It's it like really, astroneer. Really yeah. good game. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's I mean, one of, the, it's, it's one of those things it's like it's like okay cool i'm i've now completed this game in its current state i guess i'll just come back and check on it in like a year and the mm. thing is like that happens constantly so i'm constantly getting messages people are like oh hey remember that game you played a year ago which half the time i'm like what game oh i played that oh i, like, I don't even <laughs> yeah. remember you know and uh, they're like oh they added this and this and this and this and whatever uh and it, it, i think the difference between like that and uh, a game like, let's say, and I hate to say it, but Space Engineers, right? Uh, or Warframe, actually, that's a great example. Uh, that has a regular, like, weekly rollout and lots of communication. And you actually become a part of that community, right? With Warframe, and Space, Space Engineers also to a degree as well. They had the weekly content, week updates and all that stuff. But that's not always the case with early access games. And that's the part that hurts, you know, with, the, with a game like Deep Rock Galactic. If I'm not following the guy on Twitter, I guess I'm not seeing that. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'll say, I'll say, well, that's it for Deep Rock Galactic. And someone will be like, oh, he tweeted out through two days ago that in six months they're going to add this. I'm like, well, I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of it comes down to not even the game itself, but more about how the game is handled and how they communicate with their audience and with their people who are actually yeah. playing their game. Yeah. And that's yeah. one thing like, you nailed it right there. It's like, if I don't follow the guy on Twitter, I should never have to go to a third party source to find out like when I could just, it could be on your page in your game, telling me information. You know what I mean? Unless and it's that, cube that's, world. Unless it's cube world. Cube oh God. I will wait forever for Cube World. I'm not gonna I lie. Will <laughs> I will remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so this actually makes so, a good segue into the into the next topic because if there's there's a large number of uh, games that were at some point early access or indie or something like that um, that you can now get for free as part of Twitch Prime. Um, they just started uh, today, actually. Um, basically doing like the same sort of thing that you would get with like, you know, PS plus Xbox for sure. games with gold or whatever, where every month you get a bunch of free games. Um, they've actually got some pretty good ones. So this month it's, um, super hot, which is great. Um, mm -hmm. shadow it's not the VR version though. So it's not the VR version, but okay. <laughs> that just means that 90% of the people with Twitch prime can play it. <laughs> <laughs> We're like 99.9%. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Shadow Tactics, which I don't know anything about. Do you guys know what? Have you heard of Shadow Tactics? Uh, Shadow know? Tactics. I know Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun. It's like an isometric, uh, uh, really good stealth game. Uh, okay. And I believe Shadow Tactics must be the original. I never played the original. Okay. Uh, very much. I was a, I was a huge fan of a, of a series of games called Commandos back in the day. That was yeah. like my that's my yeah, favorite yeah. game of all time. Is Commandos Two Men of Courage? Really mm -hmm. random little topic. Anyway, Shadow <laughs> Tactics Blades of the Shogun came out uh, two years ago. It was my personal game of the year. And it was fantastic. And I think that was a remake of Shadow Tactics. Okay. Not mistake. Um, there's also Tales from Candlekeep, which is another one that I, I didn't know. Um, I don't know if either of you guys know what that is. Tales no. And they're really, they're really hitting them out of the park yeah. on here, aren't they? So, okay. Really, like, yeah, never heard of that one either. Like, super hot, I great game. I've that played that, yeah. Like, Two games know. that I haven't heard of, but one of them sounds like it's it's pretty good. Um, Oxenfree, which is a a pretty solid game uh, that I've been wanting to play for a while. I've watched a couple people like play a little bit of it um, here and there, but been wanting to check it out. Um, and Mr. Shifty, which is a game that I, uh, it's not a very well known game, but it's, it's pretty fun. Um, and considering <laughs> that you get it just like, you don't have to do anything. If you have Twitch prime, which I mean, so many people do nowadays, because if you have Amazon prime, you have Twitch prime. Um, you get all those for free. Um, that's, uh, that's five, like, sure, mostly indie games, but entirely indie games, but still, um, pretty, some pretty good stuff in there. Um, and then next yeah, month, it's, it's going to be the next month. They've got Tales from the Borderlands, which is great. That's fantastic. Um, mm -hmm. Steam World Dig 2, which I personally which love. Super um, good. Yeah. yeah. And then three games. I don't know. Kingsway, uh, Tokyo Dub 42 Wars. and Dub Wars. <clears throat> Dub Tokyo Wars. 42 is a. Uh, 
Yeah. It's isometric, yep. uh, stealth, like assassination kind of game. Okay. And then uh, Dub Wars, Wars is, it's, uh, yeah, it's good. It's, um, oh, how, how can you describe it? It's, it's like a twin stick, isn't it? It's like a what? Like a twin stick, isn't it? Let me see. No, I, thought, uh, I Dub, seriously, Dub Dub I heard it's, it's more... like a twist dick. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> I heard it's a twist dick, isn't it? <laughs> hang on, hang on. I got, I got to, I got to check out Dub Wars now. Cause it's I, a twist, I think it's a twist stick. Else. Yeah, it, no, it's, it's, a, it's a twin stick yeah. shooter. <laughs> yeah, I played this actually. This is actually this is also a good game. It's 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 like Bee Hazard, basically. It's it's, okay. it's Bee Hazard. Okay, really cool. Um, so a that's great. Thanks Twitch this for all the, a, the free shit. Dub, dub Wars is not at all what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was where you, <laughs> you 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 fight over just like no, I, I thought it was like a, the audio I in explain, the film. I, I can't even explain the type of game I was. There's a, there's a game out there called like I never mind, never mind. It's it's like Guitar Hero, only you're like a little sound bead like zipping along. There's like lights audio everywhere. Uh, is it Audio Surf? Is that what it is? Yeah, Audio Surf. Yeah, that's the one. It's uh, okay. it's, like on, it's on rails kind of, but you have like five lanes. Yeah, or whatever. yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I really thought that that was Dub Wars. Wow. Or my bad, my bad. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, that was same, really same thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't you. think of like what those types of games are called. You know, like you have oh, oh, you know, it's a BR game. You know what I mean? What would that be called? Where you're a little thing shooting along rails? Like I, it's I uh, like, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's it's how do you put that into words? It's a rhythm was, something. So it's like it's like a rhythm, rhythm something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like a rhythm, rhythm shooter or a rhythm whatever. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The other thing rhythm. is I couldn't think of the word rhythm. That's that. That was mine. I can't even spell the word. The other thing that's interesting about this to me is like we know i guess we don't know for sure but we can be fairly positive that twitch is wanting their game distribution platform to become the new thing right like they're owned by amazon mm. you know amazon is going to want twitch to become the new steam and yeah. they've they've got a real iub problem right uh, installed user base problem right now where very few people are actually using the twitch app to buy and download games because why the hell would you so this is actually a really, really smart move. Um, I mean, they're, they're giving out a whole bunch of games. It's, it's a lot of games, but they're all relatively inexpensive games. Like Mr. Shifty, I think I paid 10 bucks for it on the Switch or something. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Super Hot, etc. Like these are, these are all relatively inexpensive games. They're just little indie titles. Um, but they're still good. People will want to download them and play them, but they'll have to get it through the Twitch app. So now they're getting people to actually install the Twitch app and buy games yep. through it. Um, do you think this, this is, this is a hundred percent a question because I don't even know what I think about this at this point. Do you think there's any future in which Twitch's game distribution method has any chance of taking on steam? Like at all? I'll go first. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, because it's Amazon. <laughs> and this links in Toys R Us is closing down all of its locations in the U S and in the UK. Why? Because of Amazon, <laughs> like straight up. And it's because fair, Amazon is a free, no, that, that, that's why it's literally because Amazon is better. Like that's the official report. Like that's what they said. They were like, eh, Amazon's better. Just, just, and they closed the door on the reporter. That's what it was. They were like, go to Amazon. Like that's, they have cheaper shit and it's free. Why are you like, here? Like, how did you, you find hear? us? Why? This isn't even news. <laughs> We've been, we were big in the nineties. Like get out of the store. You know what I mean? No, uh, I, I personally think absolutely, because this comes back once again to, oh, all these people are watching is just because Drake is here and all, all these non-gamers coming in with their, yeah, Twitch is all about finding the future. They're all about going to the future and seeing what's going to be their future man gaming, et cetera, et cetera, um, and coming back with information. No, they're really, really planning ahead. They got their 10-year plan. They know what's coming down, and they are basically gearing up to take on Steam. That's how I look at it. Is it going to be big this year? No, but they're planting the seeds to where five, 10 years down the road, they will be able to harvest yeah. this. And they're bringing in people who are not familiar with Steam. Steam is like the guy to beat right now, right? As far as any games, I, I would rather have it on Steam than on Uplay, than on Epic's launcher. All the crappy third-party launchers out there, Steam is the best, in my opinion. Um, so Steam is the guy to beat. And as long as they're taken seriously, it doesn't matter if they're taken seriously by the people who are currently fans of Steam, but say Twitch triples in size in the next three years, who knows if it will, just hypothetically, say they triple in size. If all those new people coming on are using their app or 70% of them are using the app, rather than installing it through Steam and playing games through Steam, then they're winning. 
And then every convert they have to Twitch Prime, every convert that they have to from the outside world into the gaming culture of Twitch is going to go right through the Twitch app and they're going to grab their games in the Twitch app. Ten years down the line, Steam will be something that the old hardcore people are like, yeah, I'm Steam, yeah, no, I still, either they still use it or they remember Steam, but the layman, the gaming layman will be using things like the Twitch app, frankly. That's if Twitch is still around in 10 years. Yeah, but that's, that's wise beyond his years. <laughs> I have no idea how old you are, but this is <laughs> like, no, it's true. It's a war of attrition, right? And yeah. the only yeah. way you're going to fight this is if you have resources, right? Mm-hmm. And Amazon has fucking plenty of them. We've seen plenty of, we've, we've, seen, we've seen other, like Desura. Remember Desura? Does anybody remember Desura? it was a steam for indie games right and it yeah. was around for, for a good amount of time and then it just it just disappeared because steam was just better and they it was a war of attrition and they lost and as long as that data is there like what what games are people playing when they stop playing a game where were they in that game when they stopped playing what achievement the last achievement they got or whatever how do they track it in, you know per game uh what game do they switch to what genre do they kind of like play around in like that is super valuable data you know oh my God, games yes. continue to get bigger they continue to make more money amazon wants to make you know to basically capture that data so they can figure out what to sell you next they do already do it everything else mm-hmm. and so why not why not become the next steam and then they control the data from end to end for gamers as well exactly. that's what they want to do i mean i have freaking alexa right here in front of me uh, mm-hmm. and some people have those stupid ordering pod things or whatever like all over the house like it's yeah. it, they want to be part of every part they want to be part of every part of some of people's lives and they're going to do that as long as there's money to be made in games. Yeah. 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 No, I, I think you guys are right. I think um, I think the point about like long game, like eventually getting to that point, I think that's a big one. And, oh, like, yeah. They're, they're not, not worried about beating Steam this year. They're yeah. not worried about next year. They're worried about 10 years from now. Can we be level with Steam? Absolutely. Yeah. And they can afford Absolutely. to do that, too, because they have all oh, of this yeah. backing from a like a, something like Desura that needed to be successful in like eight months or else it was screwed. Right. Um, mm-hmm. Whereas twitch selling games i mean that can suck for six years but as long as they get they eventually get to that point like Mm -hmm. mike made a really good point and that's just basically the raw data that they have you know why netflix does so so well and why they're they are the largest streaming service and then twitch is second literally it's because they know when you stopped watching they know what you were watching for how many minutes on what days you were watching they know all of this information and they turn around they put it in it was a uh, it was a it was an interview i was watching with bill burr ironically talking about f is for family because you know he that's all done through netflix like his show it's an show on there um but he's he's talked about just working with the netflix guys and the amount of information and you know bill burr is a little bit crazy anyway he's like it's crazy no, it's crazy it's like, they know, oh my god man, they, they know everything about you like you have no idea like they know everything like, that's a know, good like, impression but, but you know what i mean it's like when when you have that type of data it's like okay what games are actually hot and not just by they they're not paying some intern to go being like what's popular on twitter like no that's they know what games people play for how long they play them. They have all that information. That is that is yeah. gold, especially when you have people that are thinking 10 years in the future, 15, 20 years down the yeah. line. And that's what they're doing. They're they're playing. They're they're not worried about Steam. They're going against Google. Like put on your big boy pants. Like Amazon <laughs> isn't Amazon isn't worried about Steam or Valve. They're worried about Google and they're not mm. even worried about Google. They don't have to be like, yeah. that's crazy. Like, that's crazy. I mean, they do have to be at a certain level, but like not not in the areas where they're successful like yeah Mm -hmm. it's yeah yeah anyway we're just heading towards a future wherein everything that we own either was made by or sold by amazon and we live in an Mm -hmm. amazon house under an amazon roof in an amazon (laughs) city (laughs) like specially appropriated just for us if if that, that's all if part that, of our ninety nine dollar a year, <laughs> no, it's all shit. part of your, your ninety nine dollar a year Twitch. You know, you know, Amazon Prime subscription. Babe. Yeah, it's all right there. Um, so this is another good segue into our next topic. I'm just gonna here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start playing this video, and uh, this video is coming this, from. This is what I think it is. Yeah. Yes. This Thank this God. video is coming from a uh, a website. Uh, it's a playthrough from a, a website called Android Gameplay Weekly, and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna Those look guys at are this up there with real mobile quick. Syrup. Holy yeah. shit! So I want They're everyone faster, to guess what game this is, <laughs> because if you guessed Fallout Shelter. You're actually pretty goddamn close. <laughs> <You're> very close. <laughs> so. Uh. This is okay, a Westworld so, game. 
You just gave it away. I, did, I wasn't actually going to wait for them to guess. It'd take forever. It would take forever. <laughs> like, Western well, shoot them up. I don't know. Oh, that yeah. would have given it away right there. Yeah. There yeah. We go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, make your yeah, make I, your naked I, prostitute here. I, and, I, I uh, knew we know, didn't we'll have much time. Have <laughs> <change> <laughs> the game. <laughs> that was good. That was good yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, they're they're making. I mean. I liked Fallout Shelter. I like Westworld. I'm down it, for the two games being together or the two things being together somehow. My big issue is it coming to mobile. All right. Cause I need all of my games on mobile if they're anywhere personally for me at this point. For a second, so, I thought you were not serious. Coming to mobile. <laughs> Why? Like, <laughs> I haven't been serious about a single thing except for the Amazon thing. <laughs> for a second, I was like, did you, seriously. did you miss where I was talking about Android Gaming <laughs> Weekly? <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, if it's not mobile syrup, I just I just don't trust it as yeah. a source. You know just what I mean? If it's it. not if it's not that Canadian syrup, that good mobile syrup. Oh geez. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the, the sticky stuff. I mean, it looks like basically uh basically Fallout Shelter. Like you have some like guests, I guess, and some hosts <laughs> Look and at that. Some... that shot right there. It's like that I is I know, I know that that's said. yeah. <laughs> Where it bounces back. It's like, oh yeah, it is Fallout yeah. Shelter. Yeah. yeah. My my mom will love this. She played the shit off all the shelter. She tried to tell me about some about like she was like playing or whatever, and she was like, and then this big death claw like comes out and does all this. I'm like, what, mom? How do you even know about this? <laughs> mom, you know what a death claw is? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, she'll she'll be into this. I'm sure. Uh, it's I, I don't know. I want, I, I I want to, like ask if they're getting Nolan to write it. Was it Jonathan Nolan, Christopher Nolan's brother, who did Westworld? They're like, hey, hey, I know you, we know you're really busy, Jonathan, but uh, we need we need some good writing on this uh, this mobile app game that we're launching. Uh, could you could you lend us, you know, that Nolan charm? We need it for plot purposes. Yeah. If this game doesn't have a good plot, I'm pissed. Like that's all I'm gonna say. You know what I mean? No, all my little I'm cartoon very, characters. You know, sure, it doesn't have any nudity, which is definitely far from the film itself, so or the show itself. So that's unfortunate. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. It's done. Yeah. But, yeah, that's as naked as it's gonna get right there. <laughs> oh, here it comes! Here it comes! Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, good. oh good. a couple splashes! Oh my god! There oh, it is. Oh, looks exactly the same. Oh, the spawns of clothes. Okay, that's weird. Oh, I'll be playing a black hat. <laughs> good. Like, yeah. So I, I mean, there isn't. Isn't Josh? Are we still watching this? Like, no. uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No. I, that's I'm a sorry, good question. Dude. I don't know why we're still watching this. There isn't there's a much something. else to comment on with that one. It's just that okay, Westworld shelter, I guess. Like the end. Westworld the oh. game. What is it actually even called? Uh, I don't think we it's, actually it's know. A, a Westworld very good game. Question. Uh Westworld's video game looks a lot like Fallout. Yeah. What, yeah, like the title it's, of this. It's YouTube referred video to as is, Westworld's video game. Like that's yeah. what it's referred to as. Yeah. Wow. Westworld TV series mobile video game. I hope that's the name they actually go with. <laughs> <laughs> Westworld, Westworld TV series mobile video game. Video game. Yeah. <laughs> mobile internet uh, video game computer. <laughs> um so that's that's happening. So um, that's four mobile games that we've covered today. Yeah. Well and uh, uh, and honestly, this does kind of lead us into this other topic that I had listed here, which is basically, so there's, um, there's all this discussion going on lately about cross play, right? Like Fortnite yeah. on every console and also, well, I guess I don't think they've announced it for switch yet because they're wrong, but, um, like Xbox, PlayStation, mobile and PC. Um, but Microsoft basically came out uh, earlier this week and they were like, yeah, we want to have it fully crossplay, but Sony won't let us. PS4 won't let us have have crossplay. And it's so not our fault. I think this is hilarious for multiple reasons. One of which being the roles were exactly reversed during the previous <laughs> console cycle. <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, this sounds really familiar, yeah. actually. Oh. Microsoft was like, no PlayStation 3, you can't play with the Xbox 360. And now they're like, Mom! <laughs> Mom, Sony won't let me play with his toys. <laughs> well, like, do we even... Uh, I, uh, I I have to like go on record, as I do all the time, because, you know, this is all recorded. <laughs> what we do for a living is very much on the record. <laughs> I want this officially recorded now, officially. No, dude, uh... Like Microsoft or whatever their intentions really are, kind of do they? Is it just me or do they suck at the whole cross-platform thing? 
I'm being really serious here. It took it was like hacking the matrix to play freaking Gears of War 4 on my PC. It was so annoying. It was completely the UI is screwed. Like like I could I could go on for like just like a rant for a long time about this. But when it comes down to it, I think uh, Microsoft really sucks at cross platform. I, I think they they're really really horrible and yeah. they should die. No no <laughs> uh, no be, no be this guy this guy you know, about it. this guy over here. No, they're they're every experience I've ever had with them trying to do cross platform play is failure. So now when they're like, but we're not gonna do it this time because PlayStation, it's like I don't believe that for a second. I think you guys suck at what you do, you know it, <laughs> and you're afraid to try it. And so you're trying to blame Sony who's and, knocking yeah. it out of the park consistently. Yeah. And like, Sony's like he's like, yo, this thing sucks. Like, we can't take this, it just doesn't yeah, work. Yeah. Like, they won't take it. Oh, no, they won't take <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, that's really what it, that's how I feel. Like, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm just completely biased. <laughs> <quiet. laughs> <laughs> you won't shake my hand. What a piece of shit. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. But that's that's my experience with the Xbox app on PC. And that's that's really what I'm talking about with cross platform play is you know yeah. going from Xbox to PC. You know, but, I mean, that's not that's not too far. That's more of the technical side, but it's not too far from what the what Sony actually said. They said uh that they that they because we can't guarantee this level of quality or control of the player experience on other consoles or gaming networks. We currently do not open our network to games that allow this crossover uh, capability. So this also applies to uh, Minecraft and Rocket League. Um, and it's just, it's just their excuse is that, and, and this is Xbox's fault because everybody knows when you think about Xbox and, and, and having a headset, you're going to have some 13 year old talking about your mom or screaming exclusives all over the place. Right. Yeah. And that's just, that's just comes with the territory. You don't hear that so much on PlayStation, not so much because they don't have this issue, but because they sucked at it for so fucking long. <laughs> and, so, and, and so they, they've not taken the stance that they don't want that kind of toxicity uh, in, in, in their, uh, in their ecosystem. And they have a very good, the history shows, <laughs> you know, so they could, they could play that card if they want to, even if it is yeah. kind of bullshit. Yeah. I think the quote you just, so you just read the quote, we can't guarantee this level of quality or control the player experience on other consoles. That was the quote you just read, right? Yeah. That actually that came Microsoft from Microsoft. <laughs> oh, that was Microsoft. The, oh, sorry. That was, that was what they said during the previous. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You're right. You're right. But yeah. wait, wait, hold on a second, though. I did read that from the Sony side, though. I swear to God I did. It wasn't worded like that. I just yeah. pulled up that quote. In this article, but, um, this, this article that we're looking at now, the um, Sony hadn't commented in this article that we're looking at now. It's mm -hmm. possible they've commented yeah. since then. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's um, I don't know. I just think but it's pretty funny. If, if, if I was funny. Sony, like, this is where I'm coming from. If if I was Sony, I wouldn't want to do it either. <laughs> like, no. you know what I mean? Like, like yeah, for yeah, yeah. Especially like, now, they're they're they're. I mean, PS, you know, PS, PS4 is definitely spanking uh, yeah. Xbox all yeah. of them uh, right now. So it's just like they 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 can play that card and they could be dicks about it and they're yeah. going to do it because because I mean, as I just read, <laughs> that's that's exactly what uh, Xbox or Microsoft did to uh, Sony before. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I have the my wife and I, we have three PS fours likely to be four soon <laughs> between the two of us. What are, the, are they breathing? <laughs> like, what are they we just we just you keep buying room PS4. One PS4 like no the PS4 Slim's getting randy like what's going on <laughs> like, what's, yeah good lord but soon I'm, to be four almost five yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's one on the way um, <laughs> but so we have three PS4s wow. between the two of us all three of which get used with some regularity and one Xbox One that I need to sell because. <laughs> Literally, never gets literally used. my xbox one is literally sitting two feet away from me collecting dust and yeah. it's been there for over a year my, unplugged just sitting there on a shelf right here that's like, my ps4 like for, for my me, ps4 is right here PS4. doing the same thing but it's plug in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can i can turn on my ps4 that's the difference my, my ps4 was actually holding my monitor for the longest time but then i realized i need to raise it up an inch and so it kind of it lost its job and that was it that was the last that was the last thing Dude, you last a book in there mike you just pick up the monitor slide a book in there it's <laughs> literally what I do. Is I <laughs> Encyclopedia Britannica. Just slide the bitch in there. One or two of them. They can like A through E and then maybe uh, F through G. I'll do it right there. Yeah. Perfect. A through E. Yeah. <laughs> Good lord. So that is, we've basically run out of time for this episode. Um, mm -hmm. And it has been a good one. Uh, but before we, it's been, it's been a good, 
we did well, the exception of the whole not recording the first 20 minutes or whatever it was but like, yeah sure that was, some, that was some of my best material too seriously i was it's writing fine. all last night it's fine it's ridiculous. fine twitch will save us i believe twitch, twitch will save us i believe in i believe in harvey dent please. i believe in i believe in papa bezos um <laughs> so before we close out the show we do need to come up with a name for this episode um and to do that because we have bad ideas. We're going to ask Twitch chat to, mm. uh, to name this episode of, of internet famous. So we need you guys to start dropping those, uh, <laughs> those I already, I already, we already know what it's going to be. Like yeah. people, do, people don't forget. Yeah. People don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. Mobile twist, Dick syrup, famous <laughs> anus. Hey, famous Amos <laughs> Anus. Famous Amos is Anus. Which, again, I don't know if I could use that. Like, we got to keep Dick that fingers. in consideration. Yeah. I don't Dick know fingers. if we could use yeah. that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know that Famous Amos is Anus or Dick Fingers or Twist Dick are going to work on on YouTube yeah. for this. Oh, my yeah. God. God. I got to... Yeah. <laughs> famous Amos is Anus <laughs> featuring Drake. Featuring <laughs> <laughs> Drake. Uh... uh but mom is pretty good. But mom, <laughs> but mom, <laughs> oh. Sony won't let me play with his toys. Bro, you could call it brought to you by Amazon because that whole mm. thing felt like an Amazon ad for yeah, me. We did. Like, after I said all that, I was like, man, I feel like I'm, I should be getting paid for this. Like, uh, <laughs> Just say twin stick really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Just say twin stick. Yeah. 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 See what speech to text gives you. I wonder you if I get, hold on a second. Let me let me let me just let me just check some things real quick. Let me just let me just check. Amazon my famous. Here. There you Let's go. See. Uh, Coming soon to early access on mobile. <laughs> Drake's mobile syrup. <laughs> Wait, I, I'm what? laughing because like that's legitly funny to me. The whole movie. Yeah, it's fucking, <laughs> I was like, ah, famous, like it was... famous Amos Anus. Fuck it. There's a there's a there's a, there's a, there's a video of the. Uh, called Alaska Thunderfuck, which I think is the name of the band, and the song <laughs> is called Anus, and it's got 1.3 million views, and there was an ad that played before it, so surely they're okay with it. I, I, uh, we'll remember you said that. We'll, we'll yeah. remember you said I'm that. I'm going to blame you for this, when this okay. all oh, goes Lord. poorly. Alright. Famous <laughs> Amos' up. Anus. There we go. There you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, no. I, th I think I tweeted that earlier, too. I, yeah, I, that's yeah. good. I was... I wasn't sure of the name of the show, and I was trying so to be famous. You know, Amos is anus. That's <laughs> obviously famous what famous came to mind. <laughs> uh, All right, so that is going to wrap us up for this episode, General Mittens, sir. Huzzah! Awesome to have you on the show, sir. Uh, Thank any, you for having me. Seriously. Yeah. Any shout outs you want to give uh, right at the end here? What you got coming up? Uh, coming up in the near future, other than a, a kid, I, I guess. I'm gonna have a kid. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, it's being shipped in uh, two-day shipping. Amazon Prime. <laughs> hashtag ad. All right. <laughs> Got him coming in. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I could really go off on that, but I'm not sure how far you guys want me to take. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's a bit uh, of a grab bag special. Not sure what I'm getting. You know what I mean? Hopefully, he's under three years old, so I can really just download all my fucked up ideas into his head, and uh, you know, and then he'll agree with me on everything. Uh, no, but no, that's the huge news of my life. I'm, I'm, I'm having a kid. October 7th uh, is the due date. And uh, we just announced last oh, week. Wow. Uh, we've known for like two months, and it's been, you know, a lot of stress and not being able to tell people all that type of stuff. But yeah. uh, that's like, all that's on my mind right now. It's like, I'm going to be a dad. And literally, <laughs> I tweeted out a picture of uh, us from the uh, from the hospital, and it was me just giving the camera two fingers, saying, I'm going to be a dad. And I got a <laughs> bunch of tweets from people in England saying like, do you know what that means? Do you know what? I'm like, yeah, I know what it means. I'm going to be a dad. Like, <laughs> that's what it means, dude. That's, Fucking I don't think that's what it means. Uh, In fact, I know that's not what that means. <laughs> no, no. no uh, like, I knew very much what that symbol meant. And that's why I tweeted it out. Because that's like my whole feeling. It's like, dude, fuck the world. I'm going to be a dad. That's like where my, my head's at. That sounds so cool. dumb. But like, Fair uh, enough. It's, I, I can't explain where my head's at right now because I've never experienced this before. But it's be crazy. Fair it's crazy. Uh, but Mr. Yeah. Mike B, aka. I, I also Mike. stream, but that's that's. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You should like <laughs> no, go check him out. No. Twitch.tv yeah. slash general underscore. Is it general underscore mittens on Twitch as well? Yeah, underscore underscore yeah, mittens. Yeah. yeah, mittens with a Z. All right, <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Mike B, aka aka Mike B, what do you got going on, bud? Uh, I mean, pretty the same shit. Just playing some video games. Played uh, playing Dharma Project a little bit this week. Uh, the caster mode is pretty fucking cool. The rest of it is kind of okay. Mm. And uh, but it's early access though, so that's all right. And that's pretty much <laughs> it. So, you know, I'm done with it. I'm done with it already. So wait, <laughs> what you're saying is, is it'll be on mobile real soon. <laughs> it'll be yeah, on mobile probably. real soon. I yeah. mean, the director mode is actually really fucking cool. I'm a little mm. upset we didn't talk about it today, but that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We did run out of time. Next week. Next week we can talk about it. Maybe they'll have features. Uh, and I have been your host, Devilor. You can find me here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Devilor. I mostly do RP stuff nowadays because that's just the life that I live. Um, the back of the bus. The back of the bus. That got weird. Playing RP. Playing <laughs> RP hey guys, at the back of the bus. <laughs> on your mobile. On my, uh, <laughs> I, I get the reference now. Now I remember now what you you're the referencing back to. Earlier on, yeah, I, yeah, as soon as yeah. I started doing this, you understood, right? Yes, mm. yes, yeah. International sign for playing mobile games at the best, the back of the bus. Is, is, is this really? Is this, yes. It's, you know, very fine tuned, very, you know, come in Tokyo. Yeah. Good times. All right. All right. <sighs> you should really just, you should really just, I'm just, make me I'm, like, I'm just no. gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna push this button.